Today we are going to learn a very important wheelchair skill, which everyone with the wheelchair should know how to do. When you first get your manual wheelchair, you actually need to learn how to use it because there's certain wheelchair skills which help you to roll around and make life so much easier. I love learning wheelchair skills so much, so I thought it'd be fun to make some videos and pass along the skills that I've learned. So the first skill you should learn is the wheelie. <laughs> Wheelies are fun, but it's important because it's what helps you to get those more advanced skills which will help you out in the community to get around. It's also a really good dance for you to bring out on the dance floor. <laughs> it's so important because the front caster wheels are so small, they get caught on everything. They get caught on the pavements, cracked pavements, they get caught on grass and rocks. So doing a wheelie gets them out of the way. Most people don't get the wheelie straight away when they first try. So that's okay. I didn't get it straight away. I had to practice a hell of a lot to get where I am now. <laughs> so you'll, you'll need to practice. Now, when you first try the wheelie, I recommend you try with someone you trust. This is Mel, my carer. So I trust her. <laughs> That's good. First step is to take off your anti-tip bars because you'll need to tip back and balance to do a wheelie. Next step is to get a strap and wrap it around the back of your wheelchair. But very important, make sure your trusted friend is holding the Velcro end. Otherwise it won't do much good. This is a safety precaution because when everyone tries a wheelie for the first time, they fall, you gotta learn. <laughs> so your friend is there holding the strap to stop you from falling to the ground. You need to tell them to hold onto the strap, but not pull on the wheelchair because it can't be pulling tight because then they'll be helping you where we want you to learn yourself. If you tip back too far, the strap your friend is holding will tighten and that will prevent you from falling. They can just help you back up. Once you have your trusted friend there holding the strap, you're ready to pop into a wheelie. What you need to do is sit upright. Start with your hand positions here. Hold on and quickly push forward and your front caster wheels will lift up. Whatever you do, don't freak out. Just come back down if you need. Once you lift up, try and find a spot where you can just sit there and balance and you can stay there all day. <laughs> this is called your balance point and it's slightly different for every chair. I couldn't even last a second when I first started. We all gotta start somewhere. So just keep practicing, even if it's in front of the tally. <laughs> just keep practicing till you can hold a minute. <laughs> and when you feel comfortable and stable enough at your balance point, then you can try moving in a wheelie. And there's three different skills you should practice. The first one is when you're rolling along and then you flick up into a wheelie. This will make it easier to do caster flicks. So when you come across bumps in the ground or over doorways, you can flick over them. It will also help you when you're learning to go up a curb because the first step is flicking up your caster wheels. What you need to do is wheel up and put your hands here and push the wheels quicker than the speed you were going so that you pop up into a wheelie or do a caster flick. It's okay if you don't get it at first. Just keep practicing until you feel comfortable with it. The second moving wheelie skill you need to learn is doing circles in a wheelie because there'll be times that 
come that you need to churn in a wheelie. Plus, it's a good dance move. What you need to do is have that trusted friend behind you. Then you can pop into a wheelie. And when you feel stable, you can start turning. And then, that's a turn. <laughs> what you do is move your hands and then move your chair in whichever direction you choose. I recommend practicing both ways so you're better prepared for anything. If you're a competitive person like me, you can have a scoreboard. You can try and do as many circles as you can without dropping to the ground. I started out with barely do, being able to do one. Now I can do a hundred. I can do a hundred circles without coming to the ground. Morning, it makes your friend that's spotting you Sometimes a little dizzy, <laughs> the more circles you do. The third skill you need to learn is when you're moving in a wheelie. You'll need to move in a wheelie if you are rolling along uneven surfaces like grass, rocky driveway or gravel. When you try to push through these surfaces with your front wheels down, it is very difficult because you get stuck. So it's much easier in a wheelie. What I did to practice this skill is I did laps of wheelies in my kitchen without coming down. I once again had a scoreboard and I would try and beat my record each time. In the beginning I couldn't do one, but now my record is enough laps that it is the amount of one kilometer in a wheelie without dropping. It took over an hour to reach one kilometre. <laughs> so it gets a bit tiring now when I try and beat my score. <laughs> to move, you just pop into a wheelie and just push the wheels and regrip trying to maintain that balance. If you need to stop and come down, stop, pull your wheels backwards and you'll come down. Practicing the wheelie teaches you better control your wheelchair and doing a wheelie makes future wheelchair skills so much easier and you need these wheelchair skills to get around the community to get around get around the world so much easier thanks for watching and i hope you learned something if you did learn something then click that thumbs up button and if you want to see more videos learning wheelchair skills then please subscribe also Make sure you practice those really good dance moves. <laughs>